Good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to start with a new lesson that is topic number eight. But before we introduce, before I would like to, before we introduce the topic, I would like to ask some questions to you. Have you ever imagined a body without a bone? Just imagine a body without a bone. How would it look? It would have no any structure. Am I right? Yes or no? It would have no any other structure. Yes or no? So the body will be a shapeless block. The body will be a like a shapeless bo a block without a bone. So everything around us need a proper structure. For example, if you will see, this is a house. Yes or no? See the how it is. How is the house? It is very beautiful. Am I right? But to have this a house, to have this such a kind of a house, it needs a structure, proper structure. So this house is based on this iron filling or the iron rod or a fixed rod which which is very fixed and gives support to this house, gives support to this house. Am I right? Yes or no? So for every thing around us has a proper structure which is based on the other things which looks a uh, very beautiful from outside. Yes or no? The things which looks a uh, very beautiful from outside, it has a proper structure or we can say very strong structure. Are you getting? For example, the second example, see, this is what beautiful car. Yes or no? Everyone likes to ride in the car? Yes. So, see this car is also, this car has a structure which is best on this iron bar. Am I right? So, this, uh, it has an iron bar which is, which is built, which has a very strong structure. In that, in this structure, it, uh, the number of things are um, built for car. Am I right? So, but it has a very strong it has a very strong structure. So like that. Now if you will see like that our body. If you will look to our body. It has a structure. It has a structure. So this is a structure our body has. So this structure has a. This structure is divided into the different kinds of bones. This structure is divided. It has a different types of bones. It has a different types. Of, the bones are of a different shape and size. The bones has the bones has a different shape and size. Now this this structure, our body has a, this kind of a structure which is also called as a skeletal system. So we are going to start with the point. We are going to start the lesson skeletal system and nervous system. Today in videos we are going to focus only on one system that is skeletal system. This is a skeletal system. Now if you will see this is a skeletal system. It looks like a some like a post. Yes or no? But no. Our body without the body is like this. Without a mass. Without a mass our body looks like this. It is totally made up of bones. It is totally made up of bones. Now if you will see in our adult, in adult human being there, there are 206 bones. How many bones we have? Total 206 bones. In human being we are having 206 bones. Now have you seen the small babies? Yes, newborn baby they have more bones that is 300 bones they have. How many bones they have? 300 bones. The newborn baby has a 300 bones. But our adult we have a 206 bones. We have a 206 bones. The skeletal system is mainly classified into these four types. The skeletal system is mainly classified into these four types. Types that is skull, backbone, ribcage, and lips. Our skeletal system has a main part that is skull, backbone, ribcage, and
and leaves. So we are going to study them in a detail of this all the system. Are you getting? We will study in them in detail. So first is skull. See, this is a skull. Can you see? Yes, this is a skull. Now if you will see, the skull of an adult human being has a 22 bones. How many bones it has? 22 bones. It contains whole of eyes, ear, nose and mouth. The upper portion, if you will see, the upper portion of this skull is fixed and lower jaw. That is lower part is movable. So the lower jaw is movable. The skull is made up of 8 flat bones that protect our brain. That protect our brain. There are 14 bones in the face and jaw. All the bones in the skulls are fixed except the bones in the lower jaw which helps us to move for eating and for speaking. The lower jaw is movable. The lower jaw is movable. Now this was about the skull. The next is backbone. The next type of the skeletal system is backbone. Now see this is a backbone. The skull, the skull is totally attached to the backbone that forms the main axis to the skeleton. It is the main part of main axis of the skeleton. Our backbone is made up of 33 small bones. It has a small bones. Our backbone is made up of 33 small bones. They are called as vertebrae, vertebra. That, that it is called as a, the small bones, the 33 small bones are called as vertebra. The vertebra join together to form a strong column. It, it joins together to form a strong, a strong column that is called as vertebrae. It is called as vertebrae. It is flexible and protect our delicate spinal cord. The joints of this vertebra allow slight movement. Due to this, we can move our backbone forward and backward. Each vertebra has a hole through which delicate spinal cord passes. Now if you will see this vertebra, it protects the spinal cord. This backbone protects our spinal cord. Are you getting this? Vertebra, the back vertebra, the, the backbone, the backbone protects our spinal cord. If you will see, the vertebra has a 33 small bones. The, uh, the 33 small bones are joined together to from, form a vertebral column and which protects our spinal cord. Then the next type of the skeletal system is rib cage. The next type of the skeletal system is rib cage. Now you can see this is a rib cage. Where it is there? It is there in the chest. In the chest, okay. Ribs are thin. If you will see, look at this picture. Then, if you will see this uh, ribs, ribs are thin, flat, and curved bones. They make a cage around our chest. This cage of a bone is called as a rib cage. It protect our heart and lung. It protect our heart and lung. There are 12 pair of ribs in the rib cage. A long bone at the center of the chest is called sternum. The long bone which is present on the rib cage it is called as a sternum. Holds the ribs at the front. The ribs are also attached to the backbone. The last two pair of the ribs, ribs are floating ribs. They are floating ribs. Then, because of this, uh, they uh, because of uh, why they are floating? Because they are free and joined only to the backbone. 
because they are free and joined only to the backbone are you getting so what is the where is this the rib cage is present in the chest which which protects our heart and the lung now how many bones does the skull has 22 bones while backbone has 33 bones small bones am i right the backbone has 33 small bones which forms a vertebral column now the next is rib cage how many pair it has 12 pair how many pair it has 12 pair it protects our it protects our heart backbone protects our spinal cord and skull protects our brain it protects our brain are you getting this then the next is leaves but before that there are the two mcqs which are given in your textbook so here are some mcqs we will just go through this which of the following systems gives the shape and support to our body now can you just tell me which which are the system which gives the support to our body yes we have in the first line only i have told you which system give the support to our body digestive excretory or skeleton yes skeleton so tick to the skeleton everyone then next is rib cage has dash pair of ribs 10 11 or 12 yes 12 pair so tick to the 12 pair everyone now we have discussed in this video the about a skull backbone and rib cage then the next part is our hips hips so now where these hips are present it is present in our arm or leg are you getting the hips are classified into two types the hips are classified into two types four lip and hide lip four lip and hide lip okay now see the arms and legs are called lips what they are called arms and legs are called lips now this the upper lips are attached to this shoulder girdle the upper lips are attached to the shoulder girdle are you getting shoulder girdle it is also called as a pectoral girdle it is also called as a pectoral girdle the upper arm has a one long bone called humerus it is called as humerus the upper arm has a long bone now see this is called this is a long bone which is called as a humerus now our hand consists of like this see this is humerus and the lower part consists of ulna and radius now see this straw this is thick bone this is called as a radius and this is thin bone it is called as a ulna are you getting this now even our finger has a small small bones this wrist and a finger consist of very small bones now what is the use of our hand you know very well it helps us to write for the writing yes or no so picking up the things we use our hand so which consist of four lip are you getting then the next is our hind lip which is present in in the leg which is present in the leg now like our hand our leg has again it is divided into two part that is upper arm is called as a femur it is called as a femur and this is a longest bone in our body this is a longest bone in our body are you getting this and this bone is also called as a thigh bone this bone is also called as a thigh bone like hand our leg is also divided uh, this lower part is divided into the two part two part that is tibial tibula and fibula are you getting what it is called tibula and 
fibula the the lower part consists of tibula and fibula it is also called as this hip glider is also called as a pelvic glider it is also called as a pelvic glider this it is attached to the pelvic glider that is hip to the hip so this bone is attached to the hip it is called as a pelvic glider and this hand is joined to our shoulder it is also called as a pectoral glider are you getting this now what is the use of our leg you know very well we use our leg for uh, walking running yes or no so i hope you have understood the different types of i hope you have understood the different types of skeleton part of the skeleton system that is called backbone rib cage and legs are you getting this now after this there uh, there is one point that is function of skeleton system now by studying this all this type now we might have understood what will be the function of the skeleton system so can you just tell me what is the uh, what is the use of the skeleton system it give first first thing is it gives support to our body it give support to our body it also gives shape to our body it also gives shape to our body then as you know the skull protect our brain which is very delicate organ backbone protect our spinal cord rib cage protect our protect our heart and heart and lungs so this bones helps us to protect our delicate organ the bones also help us to move from one place to another it helps us to move from one place to another so this is the function of the skeletal system this is the function of the skeleton system i hope you all have understood the skeleton system as you know this lesson is little bit vast so you have to read this lesson every time whatever the concept i have taught you you have to read twice and also do the typical words from the book you have to and write in your science notebook okay thank you